It seems that as the internet has gone by throughout the years and all that sort, people will always find a way to hate each other regardless of whatever the context is. And so many years on the internet leaving to a lot of people's brains getting different regardless of how many years on the internet it takes, people will always react differently in a way that is so bad in regardless to. And it seems to me now that there is so much hatred on this internet and everything, nothing of like that is ever going to change once the internet does go down on some hill. Like people will still have the hatred regardless of whatever the context is. It's sort of doing dumb things on the internet that is not really always dumb in my favor but doing it unnecessary for no reason. Just it's some reason getting traction out of all places. So this video today I'm gonna just make it like a sort of like a top five sort of uh, deal on like probably the dumbest amount of tweets that I have seen that people have done in order to just sort of really unexpectedly get traction out of nowhere in this internet and it has gone so crazy I don't feel like ever these sort of comments are ever gonna stop soon not just Twitter in fact like Twitter in fact is probably way more of a cesspool than other different websites when you look at it but it just seems like now these type of comments have really led to a stray of the most dumbest and most things that I've ever seen and I'm not sure how long this has been starting with these type of comments now that people have been doing. So we're going to be taking a look at the dumber comments that we're going to be taking a look at today. Because I want to show that this is kind of like not really a problem. But just to show how annoying it is seeing all of these comments first. So the first main obvious one that we're going to talk about basically. Because I know this video is kind of a relation to the uh, Fall Guys content. But it really isn't. Where people have been either commenting about almost every single video or every single tweet that they do it's either going to show something like this on twitter basically all the time and this is something to talk about pretty much about the fall guys thing or some other game that has been popular but just pretty much like dipped down in the cycle though no matter what gaming company it is that they always tweet something in regards to they will literally put the words dead game literally every single time and this is not only that happens between uh fall guys in general in fact um it happens to other games like this too that either have some like trends for like a few m months and then just sort of dips down that's what happens with a lot of video games that just gets really popular and it just like dips down in a uh, player count for because every single time that when you see fall guys that are tweeting something on twitter or anything it's literally going to be always somewhat the top comment all the time. I don't know why a lot of negative comments get for some reason like go to the top of the list for some reason. That's where you see it all the time. And when you look at it, it's just people spamming the dead game meme. I don't know how it ended up becoming the meme in the first place. It just is there for a reason. And it just shows not only that from not every single tweet, it just happens all the time. Literally when Fall Guys really dipped down with popularity, the amount of player counts, it was literally like the success poll. And it's never likely going to stop anytime soon for that reason. You know, Fall Guys used to actually have like the maximum amount of uh, players. It was actually 172k players on Steam. And now looking at the statistics as of this present moment right now, it's gone about like 10k right now at this recording because I know right now it's going to get a little bit more higher and probably will go more higher because Fall Guys is going to be releasing on all free for all platforms basically, which is where I'm going to be streaming on Twitch on Tuesday, which this video will be going up like around the time before I start streaming by the way so if you guys want to go to my twitch anyway twitch.tv uh, slash gills underscore yt that will be down below in the description as well as in this video over here but it just shows how much significant sometimes this meme can actually happen now I don't know when did it actually fully started it for my example with the dead meme game happening but I kind of saw that there was an article that was made by uh, that uh, CCN posted out basically it's a ccn article that i saw and basically one of the most popular streamers said saying that basically fall guys would actually die down really quick by all other means and i'm not trying to really say that like this is really in fact shroud's fault or anything so it's not really his fault when you look at it it's just games like this happen all the damn time you know it just goes into popular when it gets to when it first releases out or anything and the next thing you know it just right in the instant 
it just goes down slightly for a bit, which is why you've seen this happening from Fall Guys beforehand. This wasn't like it with Among Us too. Among Us actually started out as a small, like, casual game. And then what happened was that a lot of Twitch streamers made the game popular, and now it's spiked up consecutive, like, 100,000 players at, like, an average for, like, the past three months, though, from September to November of 2020. And then it just sort of, like, dipped down, too. It's now in around about the same range as where Fall Guys is right now. 6 to about 8K is now literally slightly going down a bit. It's not, like, where it was as it was peaked before when this was all happening. Because, like, for example, it just... It just really does happen to so all games do end up having this own cycle. And it's like, it's never going to achieve as where it is for a very long time, though, when you look at it. Now, I'm not really trying to say that this is really Shroud's fault. Like, this is literally what happens all of a sudden, all the time. Like, it could just end up happening or not. But nothing is ever to come to this next tweet, which I'm going to be basically showing of how annoying this tweet is. And I'm going to tell you because of how annoying constantly... I've seen this tweet about every day on Twitter for pretty much all the damn time. And this is why you got to get your brain cells in check because literally this is how bad this meme cycle has really become. And that is, of course, ratioing. Now, this actually wasn't, like, really as much recently. It actually happened, like, around, like, early 2017 or something like that, basically. And, uh... Where basically, if any sort of replies get higher than the actual likes, that was considerably their definition of how the ratio did actually start. So if you posted something that was controversial on Twitter or anything, then the likes comparison to the replies of the incident, then you know something that you did horribly wrong. And that's where to show how much you go over. But nothing is ever better than their own definition of how actually ratioing someone on Twitter works. And this one Twitter user decided to change all the definition of what ratioing actually fully means on Twitter. And let me tell you, it was so dumb but funny and humorous at the same way too. And it somehow ended up working for some goddamn reason. I have no idea how this even happened. I'm talking about the Twitter username Albert12798. And this man was absolutely known to do the ratio meme in another certain way. That any sort of like replies, for example, if you get a certain number of higher replies, for example, if you get like 620 replies, comparison to your likes, which is 43, just so you know that you made something very controversial tweet that happened though, and it's something like you can never forgive that basically. And you know, it's just a controversial tweet that happens though. But Albert truly defined what a ratio actually really means. So instead, though, he had no profile on his account whatsoever, and would decide to go with these random, like, celebrity tweets and find anything to do so, and how he does it in his own way of just putting a comment or something like this dumb of what the original Twitter user actually posted. So there are some examples I will show, basically, where he starts uh, ratioing a, like, a famous celebrity named Summer Rae or something like that, where the other one says, I want a nap. Albert replies it back with saying, I want a ratio. And that is sort of how it actually works. It's not just comparison to the replies and the likes. No, it's basically to score higher likes than the original tweet of what they posted out, basically. By replying to the tweet that they actually did, making the like counter higher than what they actually originally intended. So it's basically just a like a counter argument. It's saying like you got a, like an Uno reverse card kind of. It just truly became the most pinnacle thing out of all of it. Until one thing, something happened. An unexpected shadow ban that happened for no apparent reason. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that it could have ever been the whole like ratioing thing that people were really complaining about or something like that. But some people really did get shocked of it. Some people were really not happy with the way that Albert was continuously ratioing people. But I will say, it was kind of like the most pinnacle moment ever. And it such was a humorous way to make people's days better on lives. Now, it has become a very big cesspool of like how it a definition a way to ruin one meme entirely. Is just have a bunch of people saying the most heinous and most randomest things ever. Where even just any one comment in particular, and you're going to get a reply with saying ratio in it. And expecting to probably do so. 
Well, guys, if you want to quit your jobs and doing so, do this as a way to actually grow yourself on Twitter by doing the most heinous thing by just ratioing some people off. Please don't ever do this in a way just doing this for your life. It's not really worth it. You know, I tried doing it before because this is sort of the only easy way to get likes and on Twitter and just farming the cows as much as you possibly can. That just shows how bad it is really devolved into now because no matter what tweet you actually are saying regardless if it's anything or not people are randomly going to say ratio all the damn time it is kai god the definition of how to ruin a meme 101 like completely now i could just ramble on with the other uh dumber tweets that i'm about to show in the video because i only show like two dumber tweets but the, the other three i'm going to be really talking about is not really much like a huge thing i'm really going to go over it's just to show how dumb that Twitter users who are making these tweets have a lower IQ than like 60 or something. I don't really know for certain. So there's another post that also says you fell off or something like that. And it's basically shows like you fell off is that you were once a like a popular content creator before. And then you end up dipping down because of like something bad that really happened to you or anything. And it just is to show not only that it's pinnacle, but sometimes people have also randomly do so in a way. It's just like you're falling off a bunch of freaking stairs. Like, what What does it mean by you fell off? It's not really much of a whole big complaint, but it's just so annoying to see that now happening. There's even another one that's also kind of useless as well too, but it's also so annoying. Where another instance where people would also spam the word didn't ask as well. Basically saying this whole entire thing is something like if you ever say something that people don't understand what the heck you're talking about and whatever they're saying, it's either they're saying didn't ask or anything like that. And it's either so dumb too and even like people like XUC saying that it's actually saying that it's the most degenerate stupidest meme of all of like this year basically or something like that. I mean yeah I do agree that it is really kind of annoying to see it but like it really does kind of make the point of like, yes, you say you didn't ask basically because they don't ever agree of what you're actually saying or anything. It's just honestly, again, it's another dumb meme that nobody really cares about. Also, with even the ratio context as well, they even also put like a plus symbol like next to it. So sometimes things didn't ask plus ratio plus whatever, that sort of it to just put like a combo and just make it sort that it's more a trying attempt to be as a uh, attempted funny humor or anything of that sort to just make it so irrelevant. And there's even also one more thing that I'll also put in. Now, there could be a lot more things I could say in this video that honestly are some most of the dumbest things that I've seen on Twitter, but it just doesn't really like make it any more sense that I have to keep drawing on on anything else. It's just what it is. So this last one I'm going to put in is basically another one saying, make better content or I am unsubscribing on Twitter. Literally just shows that it's another uh, freaking joke basically that if you just decide to not make better content or anything like that It's the simplest point you just either unsubscribe or just don't really care But the whole joke is people do it as a joke where they pretend like they're ever doing it They're being really serious, but then they still continue to sub on the channel It's just not that good like it doesn't make it better with a joke like that if you're saying something that is either joking or not why not just like unsubscribe that person if you can't just make it better it's fine i lately like, hey i don't care if you guys really think like it's not really that big of a deal or anything it's just like what i hate about so much people doing it is that people are joking about it in sort of a way that is just making it seem like they're trying to step up to the plate and there's nothing much you could do as a content creator like for me you know, I'm trying my hardest to make content for you guys and everything, but you know, at some point, I don't have all my limits. I'm just going to make something dumb that's so random, I just get unexpectedly like 300k viewers or something like that for something that's pretty dumb with no thumbnail whatsoever. And you know, I've gotten a bit better to try it myself, but like I said, it's going to take so much time to do. Alright everybody, so I hope you all have enjoyed this video for this dumb sort of ratioed. Anyway, I'm about to get probably ratioed in the comments as well too, as well as in the dislike ratio or whatever. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more for future content like this, make sure the guys hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for more, and if you guys are also interested, don't forget to check out my social media platforms down below in the description, as well as also don't forget to check out my channel memberships if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more future content 
where you could join $2 a month to have early access to new videos, as well as emotes for upcoming live streams and more. That is going to be it for today's rant review video. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Gales here, signing out.